Hi guys, it's Hanny from Eclipse All Sports. I'm just wanting to bring you a quick video review. Uh, today we're going to be doing the top five budget cricket bats for the month of December. Um, so we'll just get stuck into the video and we'll start off with number five. So if you have a look at the grains, hopefully you can see there, the grains are nice and straight and even. So it's a good looking bat. Uh, this bat is on clearance sale, it's below the £100 mark. So do check out um, the top five budget bat section and also check out the rest of the website because every single cricket bat is on clearance. So if you don't see something you like in this top five video, then do check out the rest of the items that are in stock and you'll probably find something that you do like. So this one's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten grains on this one. And there's a little bit of hardwood on the right and there's outside edge. There's two tiny little pin knots only the very surface of a pin knot well there's three in fact there's one there one there and one there and that's probably the only reason this one's been downgraded so to get a bat with 10 grains that looks as nice as this for less than 100 pounds um, yeah I would snap it up before it's gone guys it's got a nice big profile shape as well good size edges around the 40 millimeters and around the 64 65 millimeter spine um, pretty much a round handle medium to thin uh, we have done an individual video review of the Marvel Cricket Bat, so do check that out if you want some more information. Um, but if you want to purchase this bat, then simply click the link in the description and it'll take you over to our website and you can pick this exact bat up today. And I'll just uh, give you a ball tap once we've done the balance and the pickup. So it picks up quite well. It's not the lightest of pickups, it's quite true to weight. Um, and this one is around about the 2.9, 2.10 mark and it does feel its weight. Uh, performance wise, the rebound is very good, nice and responsive, I would say it's probably a medium to soft press so it's going to take a little bit of knocking in, uh, a few net sessions and then it's going to really hit peak performance but the initial signs with tapping up the ball are very good and you can see there's quite a lot of power in this blade as well, so yeah, so that's in at number 5. Next up, we've got a HRS cricket bat. Again, this one's on clearance. I think this one's on for $144.99. Um, I'm not sure if it's been reduced further, but it's a nice shape again with that duckbill toe. Decent specs, a uh, bit of a thicker handle on this one. It goes more of an oval from around about here up to around about there. Um, so it's a little bit flatter at the bottom, then it goes oval towards here and then round towards right at the top. Um, but I'll just show you the bow, and that's the shape. So this one's in at number four. Again, picks up quite well. Probably doesn't feel too much lighter than the dead weight though. But yeah, it's a nice even pickup, and we'll just show you the performance. So yeah, rebound is really good on this one. So yeah, another impressive cricket bat. I'll just show you the grains on this one. It's nice and clean for the grade. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight even grains on this one. I think there's a tiny little water stain just there. Otherwise this would have been graded a lot higher. And to be fair, a lot of companies would have probably still graded this as a grade one, having eight evenly spaced grains on there. So yeah, that's in at number four. So in at number three, and we've got this lovely SG and it is the Sierra 350. There's a lot of grains on this particular one. We'll count them up for you. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 grains on this one. But you have got f quite a few speckles in the grains. So you see there, not really blemishes. Basically what happens is the tree, it pulls up nutrients from the roots. And then sometimes you can get little speckles in between the grains and that's just some kind of nutrients that are pulled up into the tree when it is growing. So it's not really a blemish or a defect, but it is downgraded because of that. But otherwise the grains are pretty nice and straight and even, 11 grains you can see there. So yeah, it's a nice looking bat. Uh, Mid-middle position, spine rounded off into the toe. Probably not the thickest toe, uh, spine up into the handle. A slightly thicker handle than you see on a lot of the SG bats. Probably more of a medium thickness, maybe slightly semi oval at the bottom, round towards the top. And a nice bow in this one as well, mid bow down towards the toe. 
and a nice shape. So we'll give this one a tap with the ball as well. So balance wise on this one, again, balance and pickup, it probably feels its weight. It's not a really light pickup. Performance wise on this one, yeah, it feels good. Probably a medium press on this one from SG. But it's nice and responsive, good rebound. So yeah, a nice cricket bat. I think this one's on for $139.99. Not a bad bat with 11 grains for $139.99. So yeah, I would check that one out. So I'll move on now to number two. And in at two, you've got a lovely SS Master Cricket Bat. Again, this one's on clearance. I think it's well below the £100 mark, so do check this one out. It's a nice big thick profile, mid to low middle position. Very little wood taken out. Nice bow down towards the toe. So if you're wanting to know all the prices of these Cricket Bats and the exact weights and measurements, then do click the link in the description. It will take you over to our website and you can see all the pictures, weights and measurements of these particular bats. It'll be in the top five budget bat section and you can check all these bats out. Uh, if they're not on there, or one of these bats is missing from that section, that means it's already sold. So, um, so do snap them up before they're gone, because they do sell quite quickly, guys, because they are offering fantastic value, especially with the sale on as well. So this bow is about a mid bow, down towards the toe. Nice shape, nice and big and thick. Uh, Balance-wise, with it such a low middle, and probably a medium to thin handle, it's not got the lightest of pickups. Um, it's probably a slightly bottom heavy feel, so if you prefer a bottom heavy feel cricket bat then this one is going to be a good one for you. I'll just show you the grains. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six grains on this one. But if you have a look at them, they're pretty nicely spaced, pretty straight and there's no real blemishes on that. So it's quite a clean bat and like I say it's well below the £100 mark so do check it out. Performance wise. If you're someone on a budget and you want a low middle cricket bat, then yeah, go for this one. It's fantastic, really good value for money, really good performance. Uh, you can't go wrong, you get a free bat cover with all these cricket bats as well. And any bat over £100, you get free delivery. Um, so, in at number one is this lovely DSC Electra 200. So, I'll tell you what's special about this bat. Not necessarily the grains, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven grains on this one and you've got that just that tiny little blemish there. The grains are not perfectly straight, they do go slightly off uh, towards the edge there. But the shape is really nice, you've got a mid-middle position, so if you're someone who likes using a, say a mid to high middle position, um, bouncy wickets, then if you have a look at that middle position it's probably a mid to high I would say with the spine rounded off into the toe, spine up into the handle and here we go, if you're looking for an Indian bat with a thick oval handle then this is the one, it stays oval all the way to around about here and then it starts to taper to around right at the top but it's a very thick handle if you see there, it's a lovely thick shape, really nice feel in the hands it's nice and full as well and like I say you don't see many Indian bats with a mid to high middle uh, balance and pick up, feels really nice in the hands, picks up very well with that thick handle and that high middle it really does help with the pick up and then the best thing about this bat is the performance the performance is fantastic the pressing on the DSC bats is some of the best you're going to find and this really does go as well as the top end bats there is the links in the description so you can check us out on Instagram uh, Twitter and Facebook. We try and post as many updates on there as we can. Um, so do give us a follow and keep up to date with everything that's going on. So until next time, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye.